Hello, welcome back to another collection video and today I'm showing you my run of uh, Bronx Detective and Superboy. I have shown many of these books in many other videos so I will skip the close-up one on the nicer book but uh, I think the earliest New Adams Detective I have is issue 389 395 I have two copy of that 397 one of my favorite beautiful purple cover also have two copy of that and then 398 399 and 400. I have two copies of that as well. Love Man Bad. Beautiful. I think the higher grade one is 8.5. And 401 is probably one of the most often mistaken New Adams cover. People think it's New Adams, but it's not. Okay, I can tell you that uh, it is not a New Adams cover. It looks a lot like it, but it's not. It's Dick Giordano uh, cover did the penciling and inking so it's definitely not a Neil Adams cover I see that in so many uh, eBay listing it's Neil Adams false let's get this out of the way 402 crazy hard book to find in high grade I think I have two copies of that 402 the nicest one is 8.5 one of my favorite detective cover. I just love it. It's just beautifully the scheme, the coloring, the penciling. It's just awesome. Who doesn't love this cover? Awesome. 404. Same with 405. It's beautiful. I think this one is pretty high grade. 92. Yeah. And then 407. Another hard book to find in high grade. I think mine is just a reader 4.0. Another reader 410. It's one of those books that um, I, I'm not too crazy about the color scheme, even though it has the purple. But I wish the purple was either darker or a different color. I just, for whatever reason, this color scheme didn't work for me. 412. Gorgeous green. Come on, who doesn't want this? Who doesn't love this? I think this one is 9.4. Oh, yeah. Sweetness. 413. That's also sweetness. 414. Gorgeous. And then 420. You know, uh, there's a few issues where they did this. Um, layout and I'm not a big fan of this layout not at all and then I believe this is uh, 421 another one with the layout I was not too crazy this one is pretty high grade I think yes 96 wow Wowza. okay let's get this out of the way Okay, so here's the last part of my detective, Bronx detective comics runs. And of course, it's the Manhunter run. Gorgeous copy, 437. I have shown this entire run in my uh, spotlight on Manhunter. 438. 439. Love this. I'm not crazy about this part here, but above that, love it. and. I put that on my YouTube channel picture. Just love that. 440. A beautiful Chim Aparo um, cover. Maybe one of those artists that deserve, a, one of those few DC artists that I have enough work to do a spotlight one of these days. 441. 442. This might be my favorite cover of the Manhunter run because he is on the cover. 443. Plus, it's hit a deep purple. I have two copies of that. 
this one's a lower grade readers. Yeah, eight five. And then to round out, one hundred page, four forty five. Let's end this video with my short group of Superboy. This is all the Superboys I have. I bought them here and there over the years because of the new Adams cover. So here's issue 152. There's some Silver Age here. I have shown all of them in a close-up, I think, before. 155. My favorite. Well, one of my favorite. 158. Beautiful book. Gorgeous drawing. 159. This is my favorite. 160. It's one of those books that occasionally I go on eBay to see if I can find a better higher grade. This one is a 7.0. Not bad, but uh, not an easy book to find. I think uh, those that have the higher grade book are keeping them and I don't blame them. 163. 164. All new Adams goodness. Even new Adams silly right here. 167. 168. 173. 175. I thought I have more than one issue of this book, but uh, I can't find the second copy. 178. Gorgeous book. Great covers. Not so great story. 